What's up guys, Static here, and welcome to Spawn Point. Before we get started, I'd just like to remind everyone that we do everything completely legit here on the show. Also, I'm well aware that mobs won't spawn within 24 blocks of me. My system is more than large enough to overcome that. And yes, most of this stuff can be found on the wiki, but let's face it, the wiki's not always 100% right. Spawn Point is about testing these myths and having fun while we do it. So today we're going to be doing one of the most highly requested tests. Uh, this is one that I've been wanting to find out about for myself for quite a while and it should have some interesting ramifications. So basically what we're going to be testing today is whether mobs will spawn on mushrooms. So if you're curious as to how I place the mushrooms for today's test, um, mushrooms have a strange property where if you place them in a light level where they should normally pop out of the ground they won't instantly pop out of the ground a block needs to update next to them so if I was to place a mushroom here that one will pop out of the ground however if there's somewhere where they could survive without popping out of the ground placing mushrooms adjacent to them won't do anything so the way I've been placing the mushrooms is first by placing the mushrooms where they are able to survive and then placing the ones in the center. Now, this is all I've placed. From here, I've just allowed the mushrooms to grow just so it uses less resources. All right, so with all the pads covered in mushrooms, let's flick off the lights and see what happens. Now, it should be noted that uh, since the center block on each of the pads was glowstone, and it was also a moving block. That's one spot where mushrooms couldn't be placed. However, uh, it's quite easy to tell the difference between a mob spawning on that center block and mob spawning elsewhere. If mobs were spawning on that center block, only one mob would be able to spawn per pad, but as you can see, we're getting packs spawning. What this means is that mobs are in fact able to spawn on mushrooms. At the moment, we're only seeing spawns on red mushrooms, but now we'll move over to the other side of the pad uh, the other side of the spawning rooms and see if we can get some spawns on brown mushrooms. Yeah, it looks like we got some spiders spawning over on those far pads there. Uh, and that was two spiders on the one pad. So there you go guys, Con conclusive proof that mobs can spawn on mushrooms. So these results have two important implications. The first is that CoStar is currently designing a mob system combined with a mushroom farm. Some people were concerned that mobs wouldn't be able to spawn on mushrooms and this would mean that his mob farm wouldn't work. However, as we can clearly see, that's not the case. Also, some people have been using the mushroom, far uh, the mushroom infestations in caves as like a safe zone. Now you guys know that that's also not the case. Don't feel so safe around those mushrooms. So we can safely put both brown and red mushrooms into our spawnable box with double half slabs. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Spawn Point. If you did, please don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave some requests in the, in the comments for what you'd like to see in the next episode. And I'll see you guys next time.